Today, we are going to be taking a look at a mask from Ghoulish Productions called Jay the Killer. And if this looks a little bit familiar to you, that is because it is inspired by the famous creepypasta, Jeff the Killer. And now I did say famous creepypasta, it's not really my place to say if it's good or bad or not, that's up for you to decide, but it is famous. And I've read the story, and what stuck with me the most, like I'm sure it did with a lot of people, was the photoshopped image at the end of it of the disturbingly white, beady-eyed, grinning face. And that is what Ghoulish Productions took as inspiration to create this mask. And I think they were very successful with their translation from image to Halloween mask. Obviously, they did need to alter it slightly. Instead of having a solid white face like the image, they added in wrinkles here and there, and then did a wash of gray over it just to fill in everything. Uh, the eyes, I thought they translated perfectly. They're the creepiest thing about this mask for me. And then the smile, you've got the blood stains around the lips. And then all of the teeth, they're not white, they're a nasty, yellowy color with black shading filling in all the crevices. And then the hair on this mask is actually rooted. None of it's glued on, so they did very good work with the sculpt, the paint, and the hair. But there are two big issues with this mask. The first of all being, there's no ventilation. The only two holes in the mask are right above the eye. Obviously, they wouldn't be able to squeeze any in in the nose area. But, yeah, there's nothing down here in the teeth, and it would have been very simple just to hide some openings in the black between the teeth. They didn't do that. And that leads into the second problem. The mask is very small. I tried it on myself, and after having it on for a couple seconds and feeling how tight it was, uh, you know, I had to get it off because I was afraid I was going to smother. There's nowhere for you to breathe out of the mask. And when I had it on, my nose and mouth were smashed right against the face of this thing. So essentially, with nowhere for air to escape, you're breathing in your own carbon dioxide and essentially smothering. It's a really major design flaw for a Halloween mask they sell at Party City. And granted, it's not you know an expensive mask. It, this was, I believe, $35. And for the sculpt, paint, and hair work you're getting, you're getting a good bang for your buck there. Problem is, the ventilation and size. If you're a collector who collects masks and doesn't wear them, just displays them, I think this is an amazing display piece for a famous creepypasta story. On the other hand, if you're a parent and your son or daughter wants to dress up as Jeff the Killer for Halloween, definitely do not buy this online. Go to a store, have them try it on first, make sure they can actually breathe in it, because the last thing you want is finding out right as you're about to go trick-or-treating that they can't breathe in the mask. So parents, this is one you're gonna wanna check out before you buy for your kids. So, like I said, I really like how the mask looks, but the problem is those two cons that I already mentioned. You know, if this thing was slightly bigger and ventilated properly, I would say this is definitely a five out of five mask, but with those major issues bringing it down, it's gonna end up being a three out of five mask for me. So it goes from being a great mask to an average at best mask because of those issues. Yeah, I wish I could give this five out of five stars. I think it looks fantastic, but yeah, it had to be dropped down because of those issues, serious issues. You don't want kids fainting on Halloween night because they can't breathe. But for me, I'm gonna keep this as a display piece. I think it looks beautiful. Uh, just like I said, three out of five stars is my final rating. If you've enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. And if you love all things Halloween, horror movies, and monsters, be on the lookout for more of my videos in the future because I'm always sure to upload at least two or three every week.